Welcome back to another video on 321stamp.com showing some really neat things to do with um, the Stampin' Up! Big Shot and the new textures plates that are in the spring summer catalog. This is, there's two sets of plates in the catalog, three plates in each set and they're double sided. Well I, because they're so large and they're much larger than the other embossing folders on the market, which might only, which only emboss a small panel for the front of a card, I thought there's got to be a way that you can emboss the whole front of a regular size card without getting, you know, part of it not embossed or part of it that bends in a way that you don't want it to bend. You have to be careful or else you'll get weird pressure marks in places that you don't want them. And there is a way because the plate's so wide, there's just some little tricks that you need to know. So the first thing you want to do is put your multi-purpose platform down on the the base of the machine and you want to have it open to tab one. I like to put two cardstock shims, just regular card, stampin' up cardstock. That makes my sandwich just a little bit thicker. I'm going to put my paisley pattern, paisley side up. I'm going to take my folded card and the important trick here is to have the back of the card trailing out the front of the machine and then it never gets any pressure. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to hold this up to Riley to show you, I'm going to line up the score line with the embossed design and just have it stop. And then the little trick, and I'm going to put the right side of the card down. So here's the front of my card, here's the back, and I'm going to put the right side down. Let me start with that once again, and I can kind of fold that up just to make sure I'm just in the right place. And then the trick is to use just a little piece of drafting tape, wrap it around the edges. That'll hold, and you just want ever so little bit on the card itself, but that just holds it in place while you, again, I'm gonna put that through the machine so it never takes any pressure. I'm gonna use the silicone rubber pad that Stampin' Up! sells that goes with the texture system. You lay that down. You take your impressions plate, and I'm going to lay that on the top, and my impressions silicone pad is going right up to that score line. Then I'm going to put my plate over it, and it can actually stick out just a little bit. I'm going to start rolling, and again, the back of the card is not going to take any pressure. So as I roll through the machine, you will see that I can actually emboss just the front of the card. The drafting tape even kind of pops up for me and I can reuse that. And here I've got this beautiful embossed design and I don't have design embossed on the back of my card. So there I was able to do the whole front of the card. You could do the same thing with a card that folds at the top. Again, you just want to line it up and have the part trailing out the front of the machine that's the back of the card so that the back does not get embossed but the front is fully embossed and I could then add a simple focal point to my card, maybe some ribbon and there you have a beautifully dry embossed card. So thanks so much for stopping by today and enjoy using and experimenting with the new textures plates and all the new Sizzix products in the spring and summer catalog. See you next time on 321stamp.com.